Today is Tuesday, October the 25th, 2022. This is Civil Service Committee meeting. We'll have roll call, please. Chairperson Dolores Rodriguez. Present. Vice Chairperson Mario Liscano. Board Member Vittorio Puente. Present. We have a quorum. We have a quorum. May I have a um, <clears throat> action to excuse our, should we excuse him? Or is he going to try to be here? No? Okay. I'd like motion, to make a motion please. to excuse Chair Chairman Mario Liscano. Second the motion. All in favor, indicate by saying aye. Aye. And Mr. Liscano has been excused. We'll go on to item two. Do we have any public comments? No public comments. We'll go on to item three, the regular agenda. Approval of minutes for a regular called meeting on Tuesday, September 27, 2022. I'd like to make a motion to approve the minutes for a regular called meeting on Tuesday, September 27th, 2022. We second the motion. All in favor, indicate by saying aye. Aye. And the minutes have been approved as written. We'll go on to item B, consideration and action, if any, approving and accepting the raw final scores for the entry-level exam administered for firefighter for the de fire department on Saturday, October 15th, 2022. Uh, good afternoon, Anali Alanis, for the record. In your packets, you do have the um, information for the exam that was administered for the firefighters. On October 15, we did have 39 individuals come in, and I believe 29 passed. Okay. Do I hear a motion? <coughs> I'd like to make a motion for the consideration and action of approving the accepting the raw and final scores from the entry level exam administered for firefighter for the fire department on Saturday, October 15th, 2022. I second the motion. All in favor, indicate by saying aye. Aye. And the motion carries. Item C, consideration and, act and action if any approving and accepting the eligible list from the entry level exam administered for firefighter for the fire department on Saturday, October 15th, 2022. Yes, also board members in your packet, you have the eligibility list, which is only the 29 individuals that ended up passing the exam. Staff recommending approval. Okay, okay. do I hear a motion? I have a motion to approve and accept the eligibility list from the entry level exam administered for firefighter for the fire department on Saturday, October 15th, uh, 2022. I second the motion. All in favor, indicate by saying aye. Aye. And the motion carries. We'll go on to administrative reports. Chief. Chief number one and chief number two. <laughs> Pilar Rodriguez, fire chief, madam chair. Just wanted to um, remind uh, the board and the public that this month is uh, is Fire Prevention Month, the month of October 2022. This year's theme is uh, Fire Won't Wait, so plan your escape. Um, and also we've had um, events all month for the public uh, and emphasizing on fire and life safety um, practices to reduce risk for our residents, for our business community, and for our visitors to the city. We have one last event uh, planned this Thursday. It'll be at the Nature and Birding Center at uh, 1025 South Richmond from uh, 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. And we invite, uh, we invite the members of the Civil Service Commission and of course the general public to, uh, to join us uh, with the fire department uh, for the activities that we have. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Any questions for the chief? No questions. <laughs> chief Gonzalez? Uh, good afternoon, for the record, Acting Chief Juan Gonzalez. Um, just wanted to also um, take this time to thank you for the, the review and the approval of the eligibility that we had for the civil service exam. Uh, right now we are in the process of reviewing those applicants that, have, that uh, passed the test, uh, looking at about perhaps maybe up to 10 or 12 that are certified police officers already that can come in and uh, immediately begin working with the, with the police department. Uh, we do have a current opening of nine openings at the PD, so we're hoping that uh, 
with these el eligibility lists, we can fill, you know, if not all of them, uh, the majority of the openings that we have. Uh, just wanted to also provide an update. Uh, we have eight cadets that are in the police academy, and we're hoping that uh, with plans uh, to th for them graduating in December, in early December, so we're hoping to have them um, shortly after that in our program at the PD, and then shortly after that, then they'll they'll start their career individually. But uh, that's where we're at with at, at the police department. And again, just wanted to thank you for the review and the service of our of our uh, civil service test, and uh, thank you for. Uh, for your service as well, so I can answer any questions that you may have. So. Chief, you said we have nine yes, openings? Yes, nine current openings, okay. yes. Any other questions for the chief? Thank you, chief. No, appreciate it, thank you. <coughs> Go on to, uh, to item five, civil service director's report. Just very quickly wanted to give an update. We don't have uh, currently any vacancies, but we're trying to prepare for the future, so we'll be testing. We had a test for sergeant, I believe, B? It was sergeant, right? Uh, we didn't have anybody test, so we're giving them a little bit of time for them to go back to the books and come back, and we'll be reviewing all the ranks for both fire and police to make sure that we have a, an eligibility list just in the event, even if there's no vacancies, the practice has always been to wait until there's a vacancy to test. Um, but we want to be proactive and make sure that we have an existing eligibility list for all the ranks, uh, regardless whether there's a vacancy or not. In the event someone leaves unexpectedly, we can move somebody in a little bit faster yeah. than giving people their 30 days, 90 days sometimes if we, re if we have to revise the, the material, the study material. So that's something that we'll be working on for this um, upcoming year. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Uh -huh. Any no questions problem. for... No questions. Thank you. Civil service comments? Nothing from me. Nothing from me. We'll go on to, we have nothing for closed session. We'll go on to item nine, adjournment. I'd like to make a motion to adjourn our meeting. I second the motion. All in favor, indicate by saying aye. Aye. And the meeting is adjourned. Time 4.07. Thank you. Thank you.